instructions. I go over there. video is half processed and sort of edited uh, but the computer died motherboard failure uh, midweek so and I, did, uh, I didn't get a chance to get anything up I asked today on a poll on YouTube and on my Facebook page and people seem to be interested in seeing a PC rebuild video so that's what you're going to get today so you're in the dingy um, PC dungeon uh, below my house. Uh, this is where it all lives, and uh, yeah, we'll see um, see what we can do. So I will have to admit, although I built this PC, it was about seven years ago, and I haven't kept up with what the go is anymore, as far as what we should be. Um, using for this sort of thing. I basically lost touch entirely with PC tech. Um, so I asked a mate, uh, you know, basically he, he said, look, if you need some help, give us a shout. And I said, look, just tell me what to buy. And this is basically what he told me to buy for my purposes. Um, we've got an AS Rock Z390 Pro 4, i5 uh, 9400F chipset, and these Trident Z RGB uh, RAMs, 8 gig each, so 16 gig, which is the same as what I have already. Uh, but what I have in there is DDR3. This will be DDR4 now, so uh, yeah. The only little bit of research I did was because uh, I'm not changing hard drives because all my good stuff's on those hard drives. Um, was to check for the compatibility of SATA 2 uh, hard drives to a SATA 3 um, motherboard and it's tip top, I can do that. It's only just going to perform at SATA 2 levels but that's all we do. Basically I built this PC to run Battlefield 3 um, and what was the other game I was playing? Something else at, at maximum settings with no effort whatsoever. It was not the highest of high-end builds, but um, it's seven to eight years old now. Uh, the last sort of real title game I played on it was The Witcher 3, and it handled that no worries on full uh, maxed out settings. And now, I'm just gonna open up the chassis, which I did open last week, and so any tech head it's going to be absolutely mortified at the sight of what's in here, as far as dust is concerned. So, to be honest, I've probably killed it by letting it get too dirty. But, um, so, like I said, we're going to keep the hard drives, we're keeping the disk drive, we're keeping this, this GPU is even older than the rest of it, and it is still going. I have no need for a better one at this point. Uh, but I do have one I can basically get for nothing, which is an upgrade for that. So I might do that in the not too distant future. We've got our power supply unit, the multi-channel Gold Plus job. It's, it's tip top. Uh, it was actually a replacement for a, a real top end brand that I did buy uh, before this. And it failed in the first two months. So when I took it back... It was that was no longer in stock for a replacement, and this was an upgrade on it. So they gave me this for you know no extra charge. So that's what I'm running, and yeah, it's a bit of a mess in there, a bit like my garage. But let's see if we can't get all this out and uh, replace it with all the good new stuff. So something that I've always done from back in the day, you probably can't see that, uh, and I don't 
know if this is true, but it was something I was told many, many years ago. Whenever working in here with tools, screwdrivers, make sure you ground the screwdriver on the chassis. It takes no effort at all to do, and the theory behind that is any static build-up uh, will be discharged into the chassis and grounded rather than into an important component. Uh, unplug your power supply on the GPU. There we go. Let's, what else do we need here? Let's unplug the motherboard power supply. Done. And done. Flare cables out of the way here. Uh, this is, oh, this is the USB port plug. Does it have any clamps or anything on it? I don't think so. I think it's just a pull-out job. So, like I said, yeah, I built this PC about seven years ago. So, it's, uh, it's probably time it was due to die anyway. Why well, can't I get that plug under? Let's leave that one for now and make more access. We'll get this GPU out. And we'll give that a clean up before I put it back in. So it is very old. Radeon HD 6870. It was reasonably good 10 or 11 years ago when I bought this. I'm surprised it still works. In fact, originally I thought the failure was GPU related. Uh, because the first indicator was discoloration and flickering on the screen and there's no guarantee that both haven't failed actually at the same time that old RAM out make for better access on this cable I don't remember gluing this on at the same time I don't want to break it try and get it off Fan power out. Oh, there's a little dust in here. This one here. It's audio. Can't remember what this does. Looks important. So they're the solder cables for the hard drives. These connectors here. More audio driver stuff. Well, the audio driver is down there. It's what's plugged into. Uh, I hope you're not expecting any useful information. Is our CD drive. Now only one cable left. Here we go. She's out. So we should have enough access to remove the motherboard. Like that, we may have to drop this fan out of the chassis. We may not. Um, let me find all the screws in that holding it in. I want to keep these because I need them to screw it back in. This one goes with the mother uh, GPU. Magnetic. Obviously, be very careful with it. I'm gonna go swiping magnets over certain things, but certainly makes a better retrieval of screws. Okay, I think we should be okay. Yep. Maybe. No, yep. We're golden. 
that's it. She's tossed. It's done its job for many years. So before we go slamming the new one in, we're going to clean up this fan, get all this dust and crap out of here. Um, yeah, we don't want to go mounting a new one in there until it's clean. So I'll pop this fan out. It should just be two screws, I think, from memory on the other side. Check you don't lose this plate. Well, that's the plate I had. I can't remember if the motherboard comes with one. Uh, yeah, just pop this out and maybe even get the air compressor in here and give this a gentle blowout. So I was going to leave the power supply unit in, but having looked at the underside fan inlet, I think I might pull that out and give it a clean. That's horrific. Um, I pretty much don't do anything to maintain this PC at all. So, uh, yeah, it's not my race car. I don't care so much about it. But uh, I'll keep cleaning it up since I'm here anyway, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get it back together in a minute. So, I've given the chassis a vacuum as opposed to a blowout with the compressor because it was easier. Everything's come up pretty clean. Uh, I can pull the other panel off this chassis, so I did that to get in behind everything. The fan, I've given a tidy up. That should be okay. The GPU, I've done the best I can to get the dust out of that. It still may be no good. We'll find out pretty soon because this motherboard has no onboard GPU whatsoever so it must have a working GPU for the PC to start so let's open this up and see what we're working with ok so we do have a new backing panel instructions they go over there in the bin uh, probably electronic instructions, we've got a cable, we have some very tiny screws, any static bags, it's really is a two hand operation. surface because it's much softer than the veneer so let's get a chip set out that's why I had a flat head screw right Okay, so here is our new CPU fan. Pop in there, chip sits up here. Need to have a black belt on oh, no, it. There we go, and block unboxology to get it out. That's what I was about to say. It's got a bit of weight to it. Now, last time I did this, the CPU came with paste, thermal paste, to um, go between the heatsink and the CPU. And that, what that does is it, well, exactly what it says in the box, it transfers heat into the heatsink a lot more efficiently. I'm not seeing any paste in my box. Potentially there's already some in here. So we just unlock this lever, like so, pop that up, 
no paste. Okay, I wonder if I have to go get some paste. Uh, and from memory, this plastic thing needs to come off. Let's not work from memory. Let's go and uh, place it back down so it doesn't get any dirt under it. Place this to the side. And disassemble the old one. Come off. Oh, okay. It snaps through. And yeah, the, the, so that plastic thing has to come off, but you can see here, this is the uh, remnants of the paste that smudges stuff on the back of the CPU. So, why is there no paste? Maybe, I'm not looking hard enough in that box. Definitely no paste. It's kind of important. Well, I believe it's kind of important. Once again, I'm not an expert in this one little bit of the SATA cables. Uh, so let's pop the old one out of the way again. I might actually read the instructions just to double check if it requires paste. Alright, I'm an idiot. This has the paste on it. If you're building a high-end PC, you're probably not watching this, that's for sure. Uh, and if you are, you're in the wrong place. Um, but that's the factory stuff that will do for my purposes. But if you are building a high-end one, then you might want to upgrade that to something else. Uh, okay, so... Back to my motherboard. We just got to pop our CPU in, pop our fan on, drop it in there, wire it up, kick it in the guts, and we'll be good to go. I hope. Pop this thing out. Gentle, be gentle, don't break it. There we go, gone. Don't put this in upside down. Hoping it'll only go one way around. Pretty sure they do from memory. Obviously, you want to be nice and clean. You don't want to go touching points on that face. Uh, now we have a cutout and we have an arrow. And I'm looking for what they line up to. There we go. So two cutouts and an arrow here. So it can only go that way. Voila. Lock her in. Lock it in, Eddie. Now, my new fan. Where is the power source for that? Is it it there? I might actually have to check the book again. Make sure I've got the right power source because there's two very similar plugs here and here. See that there and there. I know I threw the instructions away, but I don't want to kill it. It's printed on the motherboard, it's this one right here. So, depending on the orientation, we put this. Will that reach? Yes, it will. Okay, let's pop this into the motherboard. So this has got little plastic doohickeys. They just pop, they just pop straight through the holes. 
making sure that we've got our wire here where we can reach the power. Line them all up and push them in. One, two. Put a soft bone under there, make that a bit easier. You can see there the little black pin thing goes through the center to make sure it can't come out. You probably almost certainly could not see that. CPU fan. Is it plugged the right way around? Yes. Boom. That is that. Ready to go in the hole. Is this the same? No, different. Okay. Let's pop that up there so that keeps them out of the way. Put that up there so that keeps them out of the way. Pop this down into the chassis. Somewhere near where it needs to go. There we go. One, two, three, four screws. Yep, no worries. Get your little thing. So that can go in there. Let's go that way. I don't that way. Just pop that in place down here. Make sure it's what right way around. Just clips in. Golden. Lined up, come on, go around that, you bastard. Voila! So, there's a little tab just here on this one. You gotta make sure it's not inside your uh, port, otherwise, you won't get anything in it. Looks golden. Almost lines up on the holes, even. There we go, that one's lined up. It's probably too dark for you to see. But we'll get them screws in. And we'll get it locked in place. So, here we go, now these screws. Right there. So just going to put a tiny bit of pressure on it to get that screw lined up. Lovely. And don't over tighten them. I don't need to be very tight. It's not a moving part. Let's get one up the top here on the opposite corner. Wonder bar. We're good. Now I'm just going to plug everything in. I'm going to take the GPU down to the shed and get the air compressor in there. Blow out the uh, heat sinks and uh, make it a little bit better. So, we're ready to put the rest of this junk back in this hole. Uh, just checking the motherboard layout so I know where the SATAs and everything are for the hard drives. Uh, got to try and remember to get the boot drive in number one so as it goes to that first so I don't have to set it up. And I've got a 50-50 chance of getting that wrong. Uh, which one? Is which 
So I've got one and two, or zero and one, in. Let's get our city ROM, which I haven't used in many years. Number three, motherboard power. Top there, right orientation. Yep. Let's get one in and then get the other plug in. Ram goes there, that's obvious. There and there. Now, what about all this other junk? So, this is the USBs. I think. Plugs in the same location. Let's pop that in here. So, this. little block here just combines all these separate cables into a single plug for the motherboard it's pretty simple it's all written on them pretty hard to get it wrong you can obviously plug more devices into it than what I have because there are spare bits I'm just gonna find where it goes on the motherboard or if I have to take this off and plug them in individually that is possible so this is the reset switch power switch, that sort of stuff, doesn't look like that's compatible, at least not with this plug on it, I may have to separate them all and plug them in individually, should probably set you up where you can see something, can you see something, I don't know, probably not, so this is for audio, it goes on these, Done. Okay, so in totally ineligible text on that image, I've got pretty much perfect vision, I can't read that. Uh, it shows that instead of using this block, I've got to individually place these plugs in here. Which is no drama, it's just taking me a while to confirm that. So we've got our uh, hard drive light power supply, the reset switch, uh, power LED, positive and negative. That's all that's on that. So that should be easy enough. Uh, and then there's a more detailed diagram in here, I think. It matches up with those numbers. Sorry about the mess too. You can see that I've got crap everywhere. So here's a... Can't see it. A more detailed uh, image of the pin layout so hopefully I don't get them in the wrong place so power LED positive and negative are there ground reset ground connect the power button reset button all these get my head right in here so I can see it so that says PLED power switch reset switch So 
So you can totally get these backwards. Alright, I might be an idiot. Uh, I probably am an idiot. But I've had to reconnect it to this because this is the one that tells me ground and power, ground, reset button, uh, positive and negative. I can't... I, obviously, I can see what I've got on here. This one is says positive and negative. This one said SW and LW. I'm not sure what SW and LW mean. Uh, or why. So... I've put it back on there to determine which one's which. So now I know which one's which and I can pop them on their correct pins. Reset is the furthest right in there. Where's the reset? This is this one. And the ground is to the bottom of the motherboard, I hope. No, it's to the top. So I'm going to turn that plug around that way. If you can see anything, but I can't. Down there. There we go. That is the reset. Reset. Power button. Is the opposite, the ground is on the bottom of the board. There it goes this way. It's almost as hard as working under a 300 ZX. Almost. Yep, we're on. Uh, power LED. LED ground is on the bottom. So that goes that way. me two pins up that end. Power LED positive, so I've got individual plugs now somewhere. LED positive, I think I've got that wrong. I do. Please, PLED. Positive and negative next to each other there. Yep. We'll go right this time. So basically the mix-up that I had was these first ones here. So I was going uh, vertical, which is clearly wrong. So the first plug goes that way. The second one goes that way. third one goes that way. This pin is left empty. These two go that way. Yep. Whereas the first way I was putting it on is that way, that way. Um, and then when I got to the third plug, I realised, hang on, that's, I'm going to end up with something weird here. So we're all good. It, it should work. So the last thing to install is a new RAM. Oh, and then a GPU, obviously. Um, Now which one's slot 1 and 2 and 3 and 4? And which one do I want? 1 and 3 or 2 and 4? Is it going to make a difference? So, the book, again, is telling me A2 and B2, which is the same ones that I had the last lot in, which I figured it would be. Yeah, which way around does that go? That way? Seems to have done it. The little locking tab came up on the back side, so. Uh, and this one goes in this slot. That one 
That's just gone in quite nicely. That's it. GPU. Not it. GPU. The oldest piece of technology here. Now, let's have these line up. Beautiful. Snaps into place. Let's pop that screw in. Done. Power for this. There's absolutely no way you're going to see any of that. Pop you back up here. We're pretty much done. source for it. So it'll be that three pin one up there. I'm 98 percent certain it goes there but there's nothing on the motherboard layout or written on the motherboard that says that's the right place. It is the only place it can go that is the correct pin layout. Unfortunately though, there's nothing stopping me putting it on backwards. Uh, and I don't know if that'll just change the direction of the fan or fry it. Back to the book. So, the fan power is way down the bottom of the motherboard. Looks like it should reach. Let's see. So it goes that way. Can't get out of the cable. So way down where I was plugging in the other stuff for the power switch and that is where that is. And it will breach its final destination. Yes it will. screws are more like augers and they just carve their way into the plastic these things. Now there's one more thing I need to check. I've got a jumping cap on this one and I saw something referring a jumping cap on this motherboard and I don't see one in there and I can't for the life of me remember why I put it on that one seven years ago. I'm assuming I had a good reason for it. Uh, and I haven't seen it mentioned in here, so I'll have another read. I know I threw this away when I opened it, but uh, it turns out when you don't keep up with this stuff and you don't look at it for seven years, you forget everything that you once knew. So it is. This, is, this jumper set up here, so I've got to try to remember what this is all about. So, after a quick look in here, the jumper cap is in place already, and it's in the default position according to the book, so I figure I've got nothing to do there, and we're ready to put some power into this and test it, and knowing my luck, it'll be just like the RB and it won't start, it'll be something stupid I've done. Alright. Let's see, does it start? Power on? No. So power on the wall first. Let's 
So far so good. I don't see any smoke pouring out. Beep beep. So we've got some pretty colours from the RAM doing some things. I wrote on the packet that did that after I bought them. I don't care about that sort of stuff. Okay. Now the question is, have I got the right hard drives plugged into the right slots? Early indication would be no. It would appear as though I don't have the right hard drives plugged into the right slots because nothing is happening. Despite it firing up, the chassis fan is working, the CPU fan is working, everything is powered, the hard drive light has come on. So it's reading a hard drive, but it's reading a hard drive with no operating system on it. So, I will probably need to swap them over. And of course they're directly under <laughs> the GPU, so I'll have to take that out to um, get access to them, I would say. But, I haven't set the house on fire, so... We're calling it a win for now and we'll see if we can progress further. Let's see if the hard off switch works. Yes it does. Power off. Unplug it. I don't know if I've talked about the 50-50-100 rule before, but basically you got a 50-50 chance of getting something right, which I had with those hard drives. You get it wrong 100% of the time. Um, the smart thing to do would be to mark them somehow, so you know which one's which. Uh, when I built the last PC, I did the same thing. Uh, but yeah, let's try again. We'll swap them over. Power on the wall. Yep. Parent motherboard, still no smoke or flames, hit the go button, you can see it's looking for the CD-ROM, maybe it needs a CD-ROM on first startup, I can't remember, the last time I was putting a new um, operating system on it when I did all this. I figured this time I'll just pick up the one that's already there. Alright, I broke it, doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work. Why would it work? It's gonna be something simple that I've failed to do, or that I've done incorrectly. It be something as simple as the uh, GPU as well, if it's not getting a signal to the screen, because it's operating. There's a direct plug-in option up here in the CPU for graphics. Oh, light just went blue. No, so it's not that. I mean, the screen's not getting a signal, but it's not because you know, what I was thinking. I think the screen's not getting a signal because there's not one being sent out. Just like everything in life, someone else has been through this. I'll find out where I've gone wrong and see if I can fix it. So, I've done some fluffing about. This is the problem. This is dead. Uh, although it worked perfectly when I booted the computer just before turning it down. Um, I knew it would fail. The failure would happen. It just kept happening. Which is why I had to get the motherboard. So maybe both were dead. I'm not sure. Um, but what I've done here is I've slammed in another one that I had laying around and we'll give it a kick in the guts I 
and bam, we are on our way, F2. So I need to install the drivers and everything for stuff, but it is working and the PC is yeah, it's functioning. Uh, I have already booted it once, just to make sure I didn't waste your time um, with the, that GPU in it. So yeah, all good. Um, uh, another note, just quickly. Uh, the reason why I didn't have any time to fix this when I went down midweek is I started work. So, uh, should have some money to throw out that R32 and get it fixed very, very soon. So the first thing I'm going to do is just finish this thing and then we will, um, that's wobbly. Then we'll get started on, um, getting last week's Friday's video out to you which is still on here and then maybe this one and then back to the car straight after that hopefully having it running or handing it over to someone else who can get it running but yeah we're um we're all done here and i'll see you in the next one